driver's side door panel, as well as on the customer DPF card found in the glove box. When the amber warning light indicates a manual regeneration is required, the steps to perform a manual regeneration are simple and straightforward. First, the operator must find a safe location to stop the vehicle on a paved area such as a rest stop, side road, or parking lot safely away from traffic. Second, place the transmission in the park position. Third, while the engine is still running, engage the park brake. And finally, push the manual regeneration button found on the face of the dashboard. This process only requires about 20 minutes returning the vehicle's DPF to normal operating conditions. To understand what takes place during regeneration, you must look at the internal engine process and the advanced technologies of UD trucks. Though the DPF is located in the exhaust system, the four-step process begins with the engine control module or ECM. First, in both active and manual regeneration, the common rail fuel system controlled by the advanced technology of the ECM injects fuel into each cylinder during the exhaust stroke. This enriches the exhaust gases with a dose of ultra-low sulfur fuel necessary to induce the chemical reaction required for regeneration. Second, the unburned fuel travels through the exhaust pipe to the diesel particulate filter. Third, the unburned fuel enters the DPF and undergoes a chemical reaction as it comes into contact with a platinum catalyst. Fourth, after the exhaust passes through the catalyst, it causes the accumulated soot to oxidize and burn at a lower temperature to become harmless ash. At this point, the filter is now clean and regeneration process is complete. Again, for the most part, the regeneration process will be completely transparent to the end user as more than 90% of the medium duty applications exceed the minimum temperatures required to initiate a passive regeneration. However, the details of the regeneration must be communicated and described in detail to be sure that every customer understands the significance of each soot level warning and the proper operating procedure and maintenance of a diesel particulate filter. To maintain a DPF in proper working order, it's important to stress the importance of using proper fluids in the UD Trucks 2008 model year vehicles. This includes the use of ultra-low diesel fuel as mandated by the EPA to be sold for highway use across the country. Ultra-low diesel fuel is important for two reasons. First, the chemical makeup of ultra-low diesel fuel is specifically designed to cause the chemical reaction with the platinum catalyst required for regeneration. Secondly, the use of any type of diesel not meeting the 15 parts per million sulfur content, including farm fuel or off-road diesel, will not burn properly, causing severe damage to the DPF and possibly damage other engine components. In addition to using ultra-low sulfur fuel, it is also critical to use a low-ash engine oil. By using low-ash engine oil, the DPF will work more efficiently, preventing the frequent need to regenerate and avoid damage to the DPF, which will otherwise occur. It is advisable to recommend the UD Trucks exclusive synthetic UD Extra Oil, as it has been designed specifically for use in the engines of UD Trucks. This will also avoid any possible mistakes in your choice of engine oil. An additional benefit to using UD Extra Synthetic Oil is that you can increase the oil change intervals up to 9,000 miles on light duty and up to 20,000 miles on medium duty models, or maintain the normal 6,000 and 10,000 mile intervals respectively for increased engine life. Due to the new chemical makeup of ultra-low sulfur fuel, Fuel may thicken or gel in colder climates. For this reason, you may consider the use of a fuel additive also available through UD Extra as a method of preventing any cold weather gelling of diesel fuel. In order to keep the DPF functioning properly, a final maintenance item you should be aware of is the service light indicator which will illuminate at 100,000 miles. This requires an inspection of the DPF be performed by a certified dealer. 
This inspection is also mandated by the EPA and is designed to ensure the continued performance of the exhaust system by performing a thorough cleaning and evacuation of any soot accumulation in the DPF. As you can see, the operation and maintenance of a UD truck's diesel particulate filter is very simple, but each item must be strictly adhered to, and in doing so, you should enjoy the continued worry-free operation, as well as the ultimate dependability of UD trucks.